Hey everyone, Scoop Scientist here. Today what I have here is what is known as a tensegrity structure. Now you may recognize this as the uh, floating table, floating table with strings or whatever you call it. Uh, but I'm here to well, show you first of all how cool this thing is. Like, just look at that. Uh, and another thing is to explain roughly how this thing works. So let's do it. Alright, so the overall design of mine is very, very simple. Um, just, it's pretty much identical. So there's just a triangle of cardboard on top and bottom with these uh, kind of arms sticking out. One of the arms attached to the lo longer side of the triangle, the other one attached to the point, uh, just so it can remain, looking from above, it just remains a uh, like a triangle shape. Um, but what is actually holding this up? Uh, I have a small demonstration that I can uh, show you. All right, so to demonstrate this, I have some of the same string I used to make the table there. But uh, the thing about string is, like string and rope, all that kind of stuff, is it has a high tensile strength. So I have a five kilo weight here, and as you can see, just, just by the string, I can pick up that five kilo weight. But what happens if I wanted to try and support the five kilo weight on the string? Let's give that a shot. So I'll put the string there. And I'll try to support it. Now I'm trying to let go, but as you can see, the string just crumples underneath. That's because the compressive force in the string is basically zero. It can't hold up much. Um, it could barely even hold up itself, as you can see that there. All right, so back to the table here. I have two parts to it. So obviously the base here that's just sitting on top of this uh, metal cylinder there, and then the top part here, uh, the main thing that you can see that's holding this up is this bit of string right there. As gravity tries to pull down the top part, uh, the tension in this string is what's stopping that from going down. But also the tension in these strings here, uh, this is pretty much just the support. If I could balance it just on that string there, it would stay up. But if I were to cut this string here, then the table would most likely tip this way or this way, that kind of thing. And vice versa, if I cut this one, then it will tip this way that kind of thing. So the tension in all those strings is what's keeping it up. Now this kind of structure doesn't always rely on the tensile strength of the string there. It does rely also on the compressive force of these beams here, these little uh, arms. So yeah, as you can see that when I push it again, yeah, uh, you can see those, those beams kind of compressing there. The cool thing about it is these beams are usually not touching in most kinds of uh, structures. So it gives the illusion of it floating. Well, that pretty much does it for this video. Nice and short and simple. I hope you learned something about this. And if you do want to make this thing, it's very, very easy. I just got cardboard here. That's uh, why it's starting to collapse because you know it's loosely taped on there. Um, so it's not super strong, but it does work and it is uh, does show the proof of concept quite well in my opinion. But uh, yeah, if you do think I've earned it, then please consider subscribing. But until then, I'll see you next time.